what's going on and welcome back to the Blake Bell and Mask channel and today we are back with another ghost mask unboxing. Now today's unboxing will be a Papa Emeritus the first mask and I believe that this will be my ninth Papa one mask that's in my collection currently all of which are on Grayland Films Walters. For those of you out there watching that don't know this the original Papa Emeritus the first mask was done on a mask called Walter by Grayland Films. Now some of you guys may know you've seen my previous videos on ghost masks. The original Papa Emeritus look is arguably probably my favorite uh, look top to bottom. Even though the Papa 2 mask was my favorite mask in the, in the, in the, of all the Papas and Cardinal. But the original overall look of Papa 1 is my all time favorite look for ghosts. And there's just something sinister and really evil about the original look for Papa. And if you are curious, I actually have a full uh, Papa 1 outfit unboxing on my channel that I will leave a link to below in the description if you'd like to check that out. I was able to get a hold of this mask because a fellow collector by the name of Caleb happened to be selling some ghost masks. And this is one of the ones that he picked up. And this, is, like I said earlier, this is a Grayland Films Walter that was originally done and painted up by my friend Douglas Little over at Drown Boy Productions. And shout out to Douglas because at the time of recording that this is Douglas's birthday. So I want to wish my friend Douglas a happy birthday. You know, this is another ghost piece that I'm definitely really excited to add to my collection. Because in my opinion, I believe that Douglas has the best paint work when it comes to painting up these Grayland films. And not just for the Papa ones. I think for all four Papas, and if you're looking to get a uh, Trick or Treat Studios Cardinal Copia rehauled into being a more accurate Cardinal, I just believe that across the board, I don't think anybody really touches Douglas's work. So anytime you can get a piece that was done by Douglas added to your collection, I always recommend buying it because everything you get with Douglas is definitely very high quality because honestly, he truly knows his stuff. And when it comes to Ghost, I don't think there's a better reference for somebody for any kind of knowledge about Ghost or if you want something painted up. But with all that out of the way, let's just go ahead and get on to this mask unboxing. Here we go, right on top. Here we got another Papa one. Go ahead and get this off of here. This, pack, this mask was packaged very, very nicely and always very thankful whenever somebody packages something properly and sends it to you. But what we have here is a, this would be like a mid-tour Papa 1 if I'm not mistaken. And I definitely, like I said before, the paintwork on this thing is just phenomenal. Douglas always seems to do a great job with these. And you can definitely tell this is like a mid-tour Papa 1 because the way a lot of the paint has started to come off the mask from use. And not to mention, you know, a lot of the stuff around, you know, a lot of the mouth is just starting to really be exposed. The same with the nose there. Along with, you know, on the sides there, you're starting to see a lot more of the actual foam latex start to really come through on this mask. And if you can see it there, like I said, on the nose, you know, you're starting to see a lot of like the actual mask itself underneath, along with around the eyes there. So it was definitely right before, you know, Papa ended up repainting this mask up. I'm really excited about adding this mask to my collection because this is, I believe, to be my ninth Papa one in the collection. And if I remember right, I think there's 12, maybe 13 different forms of the Papa one mask. So I'm really getting pretty close to finishing out the Papa one set. I'll just need to get my hands on some Grayland films and send them down to Douglas and see if he'll get the rest of them painted up for me. And if you guys like Ghost, stay tuned because I got my next Ghost video is going to be a very special ghost mask unboxing and it's definitely one of the rarest pop-up masks that we know of not the rarest because it's you know it's known about but definitely a mask that pop of war that you definitely did not see very often other than one maybe two times total then we're we'll going to get you guys some up close shots of this piece this has been blake billman here at the blake billman mask channel reminding you to do your kegel exercises and strive to be mask elite